How bad is it this morning, Sam? You what? How bad is it this morning? Shocking, isn't it? Yeah. You got any good stuff? Not much. Oh. Do you like anyone doing there? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Mum said it is. Don't know where Mum put her. Oh, no. Reserve. Reserve. Oh, Fiber for that and three quid for that. Yeah. Was there any console to your PS3? Uh, where's it gone? It's there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is there. You got any games with it at all? No, unfortunately not, no. Um, but we're just going to give him a call because he's coming down about eight ish, but okay. I don't know what he wants for it at the minute. Okay. Right. But we're going to give him a call in a few minutes, so if you want to pop back in about ten minutes yeah, or so. Yeah, right, yeah? okay. okay. Do I have a look at them games in there? I've missed some games in here. I think there's the clock I don't know. Oh yeah, there's only a few. Right, okay. So it's all the duty. Right, look at that. Right, that one. Right, that one. Hey, Colin, you are you alright, Paul? Police station. I am Colin. Ever see one of his PS3, Paul? Oh, here's a few. Well, he... he you got an idea? <laughs> 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 well, PSP, I'll have it. That's yeah. the Xbox. Oh, come on, Sam. I did ask about it first. I asked about it first. Oh. I was one of the double Who asked for it first? Was it, was it he oh, was here first. Does yeah. that work all right, that Xbox? It works, we just don't got no leads, he hasn't got right, leads I might take that if it's all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's it for a fiver, it's sort of like a bit of a punt, okay. isn't it? Okay. Um, how much are your games? Yeah, sorry, Matt, I generally didn't um, think you'd had this point. Yeah, Ryan, how much for his games? Yeah. Games. Town D, she says. Yeah. Town D. So, so six for these, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, have a look at the there you go, the six there. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks a lot, cheers. There you go. There's your games. Thank you. You don't want a sealed one? Um, I've seen them. Cheers, Dan. Oh, Thank yeah, you, though. I don't know if I did actually. No, I think it's still there. What's that? The free GTA 5. I want 20 quid for it though. Oh, so Me and your mate have already been through it. <laughs> yeah, it's got hat key. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, nice. No games for anything. No games. Oh, I might have a little look actually. Is it complete? I don't know. Game with it. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't know if there's anything else is there. Let's have a look. The game supposed to be on it. Okay. Sort of Sorry, I've already bought these. I'm just popping them yeah, here a sec. Like you want to help you because it's uh, yeah. a box within a box within a box. Yeah, I was going to say, I never, um, never got this edition. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Is it complete, do you know? Has it no, got everything with it? Everything with it except for the game. Okay. That's decent. Right? So you've got your hat, your lock yeah. your case, your key, your map. Okay. What's that key for exactly? Oh, is it for that? That, yeah. That's your game case. Ah, okay. That's quite smart, that. Yeah. Yeah. I might take that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So is the game the only thing it's missing? That's right, yeah. Right. I just want to double check, because this is for me collection. I do collect games. I just want to double check everything's there, that's all. Sure, yeah. I just want to double check just to... Yeah, I I do already own the game, so it's not too bad. I just want to see, uh, sure. just make sure. So that's the bag. Yeah, and then just the thingy game. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fine. I'll take that, mate. Cheers. Could you help me put it in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that price. It's not sold listing though. <laughs> People just put whatever. It's not a sold yeah. listing. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I've not got that addition. So you have a wall, do you? A few walls. <laughs> I collect all sorts, retro and uh, new ones. Yeah. yeah. Thanks a lot for that. Cheers. Spot on. Do you want it in a bag? Uh, no, it's all right. Cheers. I'll just pop it straight in the car. Thank you. Thank you for that. Cheers. <laughs> I grabbed that, Dan. What was that? That uh, GTA. <laughs> I think that's wicked for 20. Oh, fair enough. You try and get it down. It's all there. really nice. Uh, no, it won't come down there. Yeah. I don't know if it's complete though, that's the only it, thing. I did check in front of him. I said, I'm just looking on a listing. I said, I'm not, you know, I said it is for me collection. I just said, uh, you know, <coughs> just said, I want to check if everything's there. The only thing that's missing is just the game. Um, and it's the steel book that came with it. And I've actually, I've stuck, I've got the steel book. Oh, so, the steel yeah. Book. So, I've got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the steel but one that come with it. I've got it, so... Yeah, really cool. Because I remember when it came out, I went to Midnight Launch. I got the... I got, like, the medium edition kind of thing. Not yeah, quite... Yeah, yeah. Not the ridiculous yeah. one. So I don't know. Yeah. They all seem to be all over the place, place on places. Yeah. I didn't look at the sold listings or out, but... There's some for, like, 40, 50 quid, but I don't think they're sold, though. Yeah. I'd have to have a look at the sold listings. Um, what does CX give for it out of interest? I'd have to have a look. Um, I can't really find a collector's edition on the sold listing. Oh, DL80 on PS3. PS3 yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, about 60. It's but yeah, this is 360. Possibly, I don't yeah. know. I picked up that, you know you got that so PS3, the other 360 for a fiver. Yeah, so just unit only. I grabbed that, just took a punt. <laughs> oh, that's not bad, is it? It's complete. I don't want that fan to get that Liverpool picture off. <laughs> <laughs> Be storage. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, who do you want to win the league? None of you. Don't say City. How much was your headset? How much was your headset, mate? How much was that? Uh, these headphones? They're fifteen pound. Fifteen. Yeah, for the earphones. They do work. If okay. You if you ask the old boy, he'll plug them into his phone so you can Not a problem. Listen. Cheers, not a problem, thank you. I'll take this if you want them. I'll have a think for now, thank you though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I know I was hoping for a few quid. I got some for a few quid the other week. I got 18 at CX. Jesus. Yeah, 15 was way steep. <laughs> What's uh, Richie say? Steep? That's effing vertical. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
How much are your games, please? Um, three pounds. Three pounds. You do two on that one. No, not really. Just anything that takes me fancy. The Aztec one, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank Cheers. Your games, please. Two pounds each. Two pounds. Did you do a pound on that one? Yes. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. How much are your controllers, mate? Ten or eight. Ten or eight. How much is Mario Kart? Uh, Twelve on it. I'd best I'll do is ten. Okay. Two quid for that one. Yeah. yeah. There you go, mate. Cheers. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. How much are your games, please? Uh, 50p. Yes, Tuesday, I've got nine shifts to get through and then I've got 16. There you go, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Just that one. I got these off oh, another stall. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Right. I have honestly bought all these from another one. <laughs> all right. All right. No worries. 
Yeah, I just forgot a bag, that's why I have to walk around like this. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> Mega awkward. Always remember a carrier bag. Oh, it's me, it's only me, mate. <laughs> How much are the games made? Do they vary? Uh, they're all quid the cross. Quid. Uh, how much are these ones? I wanted to get rid of a lot for two quid. Two quid? I might grab them off you then. <laughs> they're cheap enough to collect, aren't they? Um, yeah. yeah. Like all these ones, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, all the cassettes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, but I've I've uh, oh forgot a bag today. Yeah, I'll take the tapes, please. I'll grab um. Let's have a look at that Minecraft disc. It does play, but it's not in the best condition. Yeah. No, I'm not too sure. Uh, Chucky PS3 one. You've been sort of this whole time? Yeah. You must have gone past you about three times or somewhere. You've been miles away. I wish around that much. I know it's had four games and everything on top of this. Yeah. I know, I know it's had four games that we had some really, really quick. Yeah. Yeah, because they're really old. <laughs> How much was this? Uh, just chatted this on that because I'm not sure. Okay. How much was you thinking? I scribbled it down the other day. Right. Um, Pound? Yeah, I might do. It's just getting thrown up and down so I ain't really bothered with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that one's pretty bad. Oh, that's a shame. Let's give that a miss. Oh, that's 50p. Uh, it's a pound. Uh, yeah, I'll take the Minecraft as well. So it's three quid all together, yeah? yeah. Cheers. Yeah. If you want, you can take that and you find the other disc of this bit. Oh, are you sure, mate? Only yeah. if you don't want it. Yeah, just take you it. You sure? Yeah. Oh, thank you, mate. Appreciate it. You got to change for five at all? Yeah, yeah. So I just need two quid. Thanks a lot, mate. Thank yeah, you. Cheers. Cheers. Give a shout out, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You got that bag for us, please, mate. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Cheers. The only problem is, mate, the inner disc is thingy. But it's annoying, because the thing is, I can't exactly swap cases because it's got that on it. Because <laughs> I want to keep that on it. Can but oh well. Can I? I'll see if I can. Yeah. Look at this, the Art of Mass Effect. That's pretty cool. Mate, come here. Oh, 99p. Oh, cheers, mate. Come on. Look at this, the Art of Mass Effect for a quid. Quid. That's pretty sick. Let's have a quid. <laughs> that is sick, that is, man. I'll grab that. I'll grab them. The Art of Mass Effect, the games. I don't think there's anything else. That's any decent. Yeah, that's good for a quid. Because then. you think it was new? 10, 15 ish, I don't know. That's cool. Yeah, there's none of us. 
Yeah. What's going on guys and welcome to the latest Cowboot video game hunting and pickups video. So we've got a cracking video, we rarely have. Um, apologies for the lack of footage. Um, yeah, I think there weren't many cars at some of the car boots and what many stalls or anything because of the weather that was leading up to it. It obviously put a lot of people off but obviously the booties were still on, some of them. So it's a shame when the weather like puts people off but they're still on though. Uh, you just got to get a pair of wellies on. I think I need to invest really. <laughs> yes, I hear you all sat there with your cup of tea. I think she needs to invest in a carrier bag. <laughs> yes, I know guys. If you ever see me without a carrier bag, it genuinely means I forgot. It's either at home or in the car. I have started uh, bringing some, uh, you know. But I am going to invest in a decent gaming rucksack at some point soon. Uh, I need to look for the right one though. Uh, possibly might do a Stranger Things one maybe. Because I love that Netflix show so much. I'm currently chilling with a cheeky Captain Morgan Spiced Rum and Coke. It's absolutely gorgeous, guys. Honestly, please try it. So, yeah, to the pickups video. Cheers. Right, let's get straight into the pickups. So, some of the things I will be showing you. Um, couple of charity shop finds. A uh, bit of CEX credit spending. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I didn't have a GoPro on me that day, which is really annoying. Because that would have made a cracking little video, but... Yeah, I will make note, guys, to bring out the um, GoPro with me, like, a lot more often. Because I would like to do some more, obviously, game hunting CX on the Go one. So you can actually see me spend the credit. So some of these pickups I did not manage to get car boot footage of because there was just a lack of stalls. And I remember on one of the car boots, um, I think, yeah, it was one of the afternoon ones. So it was actually spitting a little bit, like, raining that day. I almost turned round on the way home. But I'm so glad the dicks picked up some cracking little bits. Um, nothing too amazing, but... 100% worth going though, really cool bits. Uh, but yeah, it's like when I got there, usually it doesn't open till half past one, the gate's actually open, but I got there about one-ish, and because it was like spitting, raining, because we was due rain a bit later, uh, they'd actually just kept the gates open, so as soon as you arrive, you just go straight in, so I was a bit like, shit, I need to like, just get in there ASAP so I don't miss anything, so I, uh, yeah, I just kind of just ran in there and just didn't, hook up the gopro and stuff so i apologize so yeah i apologize if there's a bit of lack of footage on this one and uh, i'm not sure if there will be or not my memory is shocking but anyway so uh yeah it includes uh the sunday and bank holiday monday car boots so i think there's four booties in total so the first one made a couple of pickups i got payday 2 on the playstation 4 i believe i got this for two quid which isn't too bad CEX give £8 for this, so that's not a bad little trade that. Only costing a couple of quid and getting £8 trade back. Just working out where the hell to put everything. <laughs> Pop that there. Um, yeah, this next one. Dirty Sanchez, the complete filth set this is. So it has series 1 to 4 and it has the... It's like a football one, this. It's the Nike Total 90, put it where you want it to. Precision meets punishment, it's that one. So I actually already own these first four seasons, but I've always wanted like this box set just because it looks cool. So, you know, before I bought this, I just had the four stray DVDs, uh, which I'll, I'll probably, um, I think CX only sell for like 50p each. So I might just bundle them up, stick them on eBay or something like that. I'll think of something, or I might give them to one of the guys at the shows or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is the main one I wanted, and you only get it with this pack. Like, this doesn't come separately or anything. So, uh, it's got people like uh, Wayne Rooney, uh, Gattuso on it. And yeah, they're basically the Sanchez boys. They turn up to basically their mansions and whatever and just let them uh, just fire footballs at them. I've seen the Rooney one. Here's the Rooney one just there. I've not seen the other one, so, yeah, as you guys probably know, I'm a massive football fan. I support the almighty Liverpool FC. <laughs> and there goes half of my subscribers. Why would I say that? <laughs> so this set probably contains some things that I haven't seen before. I've watched the extras on the other seasons, whatever, but it has loads of that. Obviously, unseen footage, uncut bits, outtakes, all that lot, interviews. So, yeah, really nice. And he only wanted pound fifty. so for that, I could not turn it down. So, really nice to have this, like, fully boxed set there. So, that's a really nice pick up, that. So, I'm a massive fan, massive fan of them. I met Pritchard and Dainton in Leeds uh, back in February. That was really cool. It was on the, uh, what is it? I think it was 15 Years of Sanchez tour or something. It was just Pritchard and Dainton just doing interviews, chatting and all that lot, meet and greet. It was a wicked night. 
been a while since I've had a cheeky tipple while I've been doing a video, isn't it? <laughs> I haven't had the beers or no anything. I was a bit gutted I didn't get this next lot on the footage. This was at the uh, second car boot. So, yeah, basically, because of the um, awful weather during the week and the build-up to the car boot, there was hardly anything at this one. So that's why I only got them couple of pickups. That is the morning car boot, unfortunately. So on to the afternoon car boot, this is. So... I got two Xbox 360 games, a quid each. Unfortunately, they seem to have gone down in value. They just returned three quid each, but off two quid. And then I uh, get six quid back. But yeah, they're all complete. And uh, yeah, miraculously, the GTA has both discs. <laughs> it's always the case when it only ends up having like one disc in it. And then there's this one as well. So this next bundle, I found... Super Lucky's Tail on the Xbox One. Not sure what this game's like. It does look like a fun little platformer game, I think it is. It does look pretty decent. I've heard of it before. Um, CX actually sell it for 12 quid. Um, so I think the trade, I'm sure it's about 8 quid on it. But I paid a fiver, but I did intend to just keep it for my collection. So I think, to be fair, I'm going to keep it. Because, like you say, with them selling it for like 12, it's nice to pick it up for a fiver. So I'll give that a go. And it is an Xbox One exclusive. So the guy actually had some Game Boy Advance games, loose ones, and these are Tetris World DS. There was a few others, but there was like really naff. They really didn't kind of capture my attention or whatever. And then we have Neath Speed Underground, the first one. And this other one, you guys know I love Rugrats, don't you? <laughs> Guilty pleasure. It's called Rugrats I Gotta Go Party. Never heard of this whatsoever. Um, did a really quick YouTube search of this, and it looks like it's like a bit of a mini game one, which really doesn't surprise me. To be fair, it looks like yeah, just some party mini games and whatever. So that'd be fun. Um, so yeah, I just said to him, this was all at the same stall. I said, what could you do on that and these three games? He said a tenner. So I didn't mind that too much, to be fair, because it's obviously you know fiver for that, and then it's like less than two quid a cart. So didn't mind that, to be fair. And obviously, it's really nice to see some Game Boy Advance games at the car boot. Don't always see them. So, uh, yeah, when I went to trade all my stuff in at CEX and whatever, um, I, I took a bit of trading. Um, this was at my Grimsby uh, store, and I bought a Blu-ray because it was just two quid, and I love this film, I really do. Um, as you guys know, I probably just pretty much collect horrors, um, apart from, like, the odd the odd one that interests me. Like, I, I bought Legend at the car boot for two quid, didn't I, um, with Tom Hardy and Based on the Craze. I absolutely love that movie as well. So, uh, yeah, this is The Woman in Black, Angel of Death. Really good horror movie. Absolute million times improvement from the first Woman in Black film. It really is. Um, I think the first one was like a... I'm sure it was a 12? Yeah, I think it was a 12, that was. Just had Daniel Radcliffe and a load of jumpy scenes. Don't get me wrong, the suspense and the jumping was pretty good. It was a pretty good movie-ish. Bit slow, though, but, yeah, this one's incredible. It is... Um, yeah, pretty scary. So this one is a random charity shop pickup. As I was swinging by a charity shop, this is Marvel Superhero Squad. Um, you know, I thought it might have a bit of money in it. Give it a quick CEX search. Got this for one pound fifty, and CEX give three quid, so double my money there, so it's not too bad. Wouldn't really be one for the collection because there's no manual and all that. It's starting to actually get a little bit dark now. Let me just sort this out a little bit. Honestly, I don't get the lighting in here. It sucks. I've got like a couple of these um, these spotlights, and the you know they kind of do the trick, but. I don't know, it's like the worst lit room ever, and it's like a few minutes ago, it was like absolutely fine out there, but the problem is, by watching me, you have to put up with British weather, and the sun's kind of gone in more now, <laughs> so yeah, that's why it wasn't looking good just a second ago. Okay, so, second car boom. Um, to stop all this rattly sound, I'll show you what's actually in this bag. So, got this for two quid, right? A load of, I think they are Amstrad, and uh, I think there's some... C64 games, I'm not too sure but yeah, uh, there's an Amstrad action pack, for two quid I couldn't like leave these if you get me I've honestly I've got not much knowledge at all very little knowledge, I don't know if there's any gold in here or whatever but still picked them up, uh, there's one called yeah, Amstrad CPC 464 god, I, I, you know what, my knowledge is shocking on it, it really is we got that one Got um, it's really confusing me some of them don't have cases, it says Top Cat Starring in Beverly Hills Cats. It says that on one side, and then there's Hong Kong Fooey on that side. I really don't know. I'd have to do my own little research for this. There is Yogi's Great Escape. Uh, there's nothing on the other side of that. That's blank. We have Steve Davis Snooker. I know who that geezer is. <laughs> Snooker game. We've got Mini Office. Oh, wow, this lo this just looks thrilling, guys. It really does. Word processor spreadsheet database graphics. <laughs> what even are these? 
They're so random. I didn't really take a proper look at them. I just like flicked through them really quick, really. I was just like, oh, I'll take them for two quid. Oh, one of my favourite movies, Top Gun. Do, 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 do. Oh, let me let me add it in there. Is 1986. So Top Gun on the Amstrad, I believe. What's this one? A uh, Target Renegade. Don't know if that's any good. Looks like a little bit of a not so good Rambo. <laughs> if you see his face. Actually, looks a bit like Bruce Lee. And I need cataracts. Uh, elevator action. I've heard of this one. I can't remember where I've heard of this one before. It might be the Cinemasca channel, but I've heard of that before. What's this one? Um, graphics light pen, I believe. Honestly, if you guys have any knowledge on this, you you know, feel free to enlighten me. Tell me if I've got anything decent or whatever. Um, I think this is an empty case. Yeah, <laughs> I think that that one's called Feud. Some of these graphics are bizarre. I just have no idea what's going on on them. Uh, what we got? Rough and ready. That one is. And then we've got a bunch of loose ones. Um, Thunder Jaws. Thunderbirds. I remember watching Thunderbirds as a kid. Uh, High Steel, I think that is. Thunderbirds theme music. And then another Thunderbirds. So, yeah, don't know what on earth's going on with all these guys. I really don't. So, uh, yeah, it was just a bit of a spare of the moment. You know, just one of them. Oh, yeah, I'll pick them up. Just two quid not bothered whatever um so yeah if, if any of you guys have any knowledge or you know can enlighten me on anything do feel free to drop a comment because <laughs> i'm a little noob so also from this afternoon car boot got a, got a few games so i've got nintendogs this was uh two quid so this is for the collection the dalmatian and friends one i needed this one damn it i've just realized they use the sticker damn it <laughs> I think it's on this one you get to have the pug. I'm sure you get to start off with a pug as like a starter one. It's either this or the Labrador, I can't remember now. But yeah, <laughs> it's for the collection because it's just a bit of a, just a guilty pleasure, the Nintendogs games for me. Oh yeah, shout out to the guy who gave me this next pick up. So he's the one who um, sold me the Amstrad cassette. So I've seen him and uh, a woman YouTuber at the car boot. Uh, I see them like often now seem like regularly at the uh, afternoon car boot and uh, you know they're always uh, really nice always up for like a gaming chat the guy is um yeah and she's got her own channel she just does uh, some pickups i'll do a link in the description down below her pickups are different than mine though be aware uh, she does mainly uh, makeup and just other random stuff any anything everything and everything she said she does but yeah really nice people really friendly so uh, yeah shout out to you man on this so he um sold me the uh, cassettes and then he also had Sonic the Hedgehog complete series DVD set, so all 26 episodes. He said, um, I think he wanted, uh, I don't know if it was about 150 or something like that, I can't remember. But um, yeah, he said to check the discs, and I was having a look, and I think it was this one. Yeah, unfortunately, it had some really deep scratches. Yeah, to that centre there, if you can just about, yeah, you can just you can make that out. Um, so yeah, obviously I told him about it, I said I might have to give it a miss, mate. He said... But the other discs were fine, and he said to me, you know what, he said, you can have it, but just, you know, just try and source yourself the actual disc. So, uh, yeah, massive thanks to you for this, man. I really appreciate that. So, yeah, massive thank you for gifting me this, mate. Really appreciate it. I also bought Minecraft off a stall. Um, I've actually got two copies of Minecraft, so I'm sure one of them was two quid, one of them was a quid, I think. And nowadays, CX give six quid, so not too bad still held up pretty well because think of the amount of copies they must have had in man uh yeah minecraft really still holds up pretty well i reckon so six quid cx trade each so this next one is for the xbox 360 collection to keep um i don't think i have this one um so i just thought i'd grab it anyway so i got dirt three and i believe she wanted two quid and i said we do a quid for it and she said yeah so I cheekily cheekily patted that down so yeah a nice copy of Dirt 3 there. It looks so good. It looks really good. I've played the first one, the first Dirt, so I can't remember if I've even got the first or second ones, to be honest. Um, I've got access to some of my 360 games, but I've got some stored away somewhere else. Uh, yeah, and I need to just double check. But yeah, um, very soon I will be, I will have a shelving unit, 
like the ones on that side i'll be having one on this wall so a lot more games will be like up here and stored so i can easily access my 360 games then thank god it's awful having them scattered about everywhere um yeah i think you would have seen on the footage i'm sure i captured it on footage yeah i think i did um so yeah this woman had some wii games 50p each and uh, i didn't actually already own this one so really nice picked up for the collection donkey kong jet race i don't know if it's any good usually i've already got you know these kind of titles and whatever you know the marios the donkey kongs i've picked them up by now but yeah this is one that i didn't already have um i'm sure like the last time i saw it cex sell it for like four quid or something that was the last time i saw it in there anyway so to get it for 50p is really cool um yeah it looks like a pretty fun game anyway i like how there's uh the barrels on his uh on his legs <laughs> flaming barrels um yeah it, it was funny this on the footage it's a bit of an awkward moment because the um the woman said I, yeah i forgot a bag so i was like carrying a few games around you know like this i had this in the minecraft and whatever so i was carrying them around and then you know said 50p each and i kind of put them all down together and i went to give her the 50p she's like oh no 50p each and i was like yeah i was like these are bought off another store i've only got this one off yet and I said, sorry, it's dopey me's fault for forgetting a carrier bag. So yeah, don't forget carrier bags, guys. It just makes you look a tit. <laughs> I am, a, I am. That's what I am, an absolute tit. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally trying to keep track of um, what car boots these are from. It's really confusing. But um, yeah, oh, which one was this? I think it was last... Uh... I think it was, uh, yeah, it was on the, this last Monday, the bank holiday. Um, this was actually the only thing I bought from uh, my local booty. That's all I saw, just an eye toy for a couple of quid. I actually already own one, but I just always, sometimes I pick them up if they're bargains or whatever, just to uh, give to one of the fellow collectors if they need one or whatever. So that's all I picked up. I think it was on the Sunday, no, the Monday, bank holiday Monday at my local. Get it right, holster. Uh, <laughs> and then I think uh you know what yeah and i think this was on the sunday yeah i'm getting confused really but this is a car boot before and then this is um from the afternoon car boot down here so let me show you this was from the morning one <laughs> really funny this we've done it again guys we have done it a freaking again can you guess what what's happened we found another pickup from my man slim shady <laughs> Yeah, so these are all actually from my collection because he's the only artist who I'll actually physically collect the, you know, the physical discs for. Um, he's the only artist I'll do it for. Absolutely love my man Slim Shady. I just love them for the car. Um, yeah, actually, I do have another CD in uh, this video. Um, I do collect the odd one. Just like my Blu-ray is very particular. So yeah, this was really nice. This was just 50p for the Marshall Mavers LP. What an absolute album. Look at these guys. Look at these song tracks. I know you're appreciating this man watching this. My man, Damien G Unit, who comments on all my videos. G, -g, -g, -g Unit, respect to you, man. <laughs> so, yeah, we have done it again. Slim Shady in this car boot season. Every single freaking video. I'm loving it, man. I really am. <laughs> um, God, I can't even remember how much I've been getting these for. Flipping out. I'm sure I got this for two quid, this one. Wii Sports. Got this one for two quid off a stall. And CEX returned £6 for this DVD case. Don't get confused. It's got to be the DVD case, guys. You can, you know, this is still decent to trade in. I remember, God, ages and ages ago, it was like eight quid, wasn't it? It was really good, but now it's obviously six quid. But, yeah, it's not too bad. So, six quid for that. Do not, whatever you do, guys, don't trade your cardboard sleeve ones in because CEX now only give £2 for them. Even the Wii Sport Resort cardboard sleeve ones don't trade them in just yet keep hold of them i've got a few i'm waiting i'm waiting guys gonna be throwing as soon as them prices go up from two quid we'll be throwing them like frisbees <laughs> can't wait um this is another one i think i got this for actually i got it with something else found ratchet and clank quest for booty i'm sure i don't already own this um still don't even have a ps3 at the minute because i've not rebought one um but I would like a 500 gig PS3. It's hard to think that. I used to have them back in the day at 40 gig it was. I ran out of space on that bad boy so quick. Even back then. With those file sizes. So uh, yeah. Picked up that. Because I love the Ratchet and Clank series. So I am picking up PS3 exclusives. I pick up the odd ones just for when I do get a PS3 eventually. 
So I think he wanted like 150 or something like that. And then he wanted, I think he wanted, uh, I can't even remember what he wanted for this. But yeah, found a GTA San Andreas official strategy guide. And I don't believe I already had one. Uh, Kaboot Jamie pointed me in the direction of this. So thanks for that, man. Appreciated. Um, so yeah, it's really nice condition and all that. I think it, yeah, it does have just one loose page. So I do need to fix that in there somehow. But you never know. I could run into another one and get an upgrade or whatever and sell this on or something. So yeah, nice to have that. Massive fan of San Andreas. I think it is probably... It's really difficult when I'm trying to discuss my favourite Grand Theft Auto game. It really is. Because um, GTA Vice City was the first one, first game I ever got for my PS2. But this one, it does blow it away, really, uh, with all the extras it's got, the extra things. So, yeah, after I picked that up, I said to the guy, we do two quid for both of them. And he said, yeah, so that was a right little bargain, that. So that was a nice little bundle, that. Uh, I picked up a Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I believe it was... I don't know. I'm sure it was a, a quid or two quid. Can't remember off the top of my head. Let me have a look a second. They are worth picking up um, as of now, anyway. Let me just double check for you guys. Taking this straight off the CX website. 360. Oh, it has gone down to three quid. So I might... Uh, don't know whether to um, hold on to it or not. Hmm... I think, I don't know whether to, um, you know, when you see them for a quid, they might still be worth picking up just to make that extra couple of quid on them. But when they're like two quid, you might as well just kind of give them a miss. But it has gone down that, actually. It was six quid at one point, then it went down to like four, and now we're at three. Because I picked up quite a few of these uh, this car boot season. I've been picking these up. So this next pickup, it was from Sam and his dad's stall. So it's just a fiver for the limited edition GTA 5 strategy guys. So absolutely buzzing with that it's pretty decent condition just a a little bit of wear and stuff um yeah i remember i did go to midnight launch for the um for gta 5 that was good times i had a i, had, <laughs> I even remember as well um i had a four pack of monster the ripper one the uh yellow one I remember having a four pack of monster I just stayed up all night that was that was a sick night that was <laughs> so yeah at the time i did only get the standard edition strategy guide so it's really nice to have this limited edition one guys i was absolutely buzzing with this one so this is the gta 5 collector's edition that expensive edition that i didn't get back in the day Woo! i actually own it now so i was so happy with this Kaboot dan and antique dave i'm calling him antique dave he's like my new mate because uh, he recognised me because of the channel. And uh, he like usually specialises in antiques and all that lot. Sells them on trades and whatever. Uh, so, yeah, he said if he has any uh, game stuff, he'll let me know and all that. So, yeah, really nice guy, he really is. Uh, so, yeah, car boot down and antique Dave. They'd already seen this and they'd already passed on it. The guy wanted 20 quid. But, you know what? I don't even mind paying that. I'll pay that all day, every day. I will. I think it's because I'm a big fan of GTA and... I was gutted at the time when I missed out on this. I really was, to be fair. I was gutted that I didn't get this really expensive version. So, um, Dan wanted me to check CEX just out of curiosity to see how much to give. This won't be getting traded at all. It's for my collection. For my beloved GTA collection. CEX actually give 21 quid trade, which is awful. And I believe, I think they sell it for about 35, 40 quid or something like that. I'm sure it's something like that. Let me just get this out of the box, guys. What else was I going to say? Um, I did check on some eBay sold listings. Um, and I've seen the PS3 version um, in the sold listings uh, for about 50, 60 quid. Anywhere from around then. That's what I've seen in the eBay sold listings. But I've not seen any Xbox 360 version ones for some reason. I'll pop that on there, actually. Let's pop that up on there. But anyway, I mean, if it was PS3, I might have maybe picked it up and then probably sold it at a later date when I eventually got the 360 version one day. Um, but yeah, I, I was really happy it's Xbox 360 version because it's just... Oh God, now I sound like a fangirl, don't I? Go, yeah, go on, go on, I need a drink. It's just because it's my preferred console, whatever. I'm not a fangirl. <laughs> So yeah, it's really nice um, case this. The guy said it's all in immaculate condition. I checked that everything was there. Everything is there, by the way, except the game. And I believe a steelbook version of the game came with this. So I've just got to hunt about on my travels for one of those. I do actually already have one, um, a steelbook um, game. But that that's in my... Um, God, I don't even know what... Uh, I don't even know what... It won't collect edition. 
That's collector's edition. I don't know if it was the special edition I got or something. It was just like, it was like not the standard version, but the slightly more expensive version where um, I think you got like a map and a, um, a code for the blimp, I believe. Um, but yeah, that's the edition that I got. So yeah, I just need to hunt around for, jeez, I don't even know where to put anything nowadays. <laughs> just need to hunt around for a nice steelbook game just for this to make this complete so I, honestly i really wish i suited snapbacks i really do so we've got los santos snapback there so you can feel just like the grove street gang i love how they included grove street in this i really do i just felt like i was returning home you know i'm home i think i tried this on a little bit oh look at that <laughs> i really wish i suited them i really do guys how do these how do some people pull this off? How do some people pull this off? No, I can't do the rest of the video in this. I just look absolutely ridiculous. I, I don't think I can even suit it like that. <laughs> I think the best way I can suit it is sideways. This has all been untouched, by the way. I, th uh, I don't <laughs> even sideways. I just look like... Uh, oh, I don't even know. I just like a... I look like a... I don't know. Justin Bieber when he's trying to be gangster or something. I don't even know. I've got no words, guys. I've got no words for myself, to be honest. <laughs> right, let me show you the other stuff anyway. So, I've not actually had a proper look at this, you know. This is a... It's like a, a really smart bag, but it's actually... It's got a lock on it as well. There's nothing in it, I believe, but... You have a, you get a key with it as well. Oh, it feels nice and uh, leathery in here anyway. Looks like a nice little storage bag anyway. Oh, that's nice, that's locked then. Nice to see the, uh, the Rockstar logo embossed there. Really is a nice little bag. But it's one of them, you just will never use it, will you? <laughs> you just keep it all really nice. That's what I'll be doing anyway. So, yeah, the game should go in that little slot, that way round. There we go. So, just need a steelbook game for that. And then this is the big fold-out blueprint map and all that. So, I remember back in the day, um, a mate messaged me and said, Oh, apparently the map looks like a Ninja Turtle. I can't remember if it even does. Yeah, I think it's... <laughs> I remember that when it like first got leaked or something or released. My mate said, oh, it looks a bit like a Ninja Turtle. Uh, a bit of a special one. I mean, back then I could see it, but it doesn't look so much so now. But yeah, <laughs> very random. So guys, I'm mega happy with this pickup. I really am. And the guy, um, he wasn't willing to come down or anything. I knew that because uh, he said he'd seen him on eBay. He was like, you know, this is a bag and whatever. And I agree. Um, I did not hesitate whatsoever to pay 20 quid for this pay 20 quid all day every day for that as a collector it's going straight in the collection so yeah mega happy with that one so next car booty guys this was the afternoon one a uh, few bits not not loads but got some really nice uh, nostalgic bits these are as well i think this was the one where it was yeah this was the one when it was actually spitting it down a little bit raining and i nearly turned back home because uh, i drive like about 20 minutes ish or something to get to this one uh, but yeah i've got some really nice bits anyway so th these were just off a couple of stalls so just off one stall i got minecraft the xbox one they wanted a fiver for this and they won't come down so i grabbed that and i'll just double check i don't know what, is it 13 yep see let's give 13 pound trade which is really good that's a nice little profit there and then this this lot was like off the same stall so i got new super mario brothers on the wii so he wanted four quid for this so i didn't mind that to be fair i'll just double check it i think it's nine quid trade i think yeah that is nine quid trade voucher and then i also saw croc 2 on the uh, game boy color I, I was really unsure whether i had it or not but yeah i actually don't have it because i've checked so really happy to get that so that's really nice two quid i'm a massive fan of croc on the ps1 absolutely love the first game so i've not played the second one properly and uh yeah i haven't played that one properly yet so yeah he wanted four quid for this two for this and yeah he said i'll do them for a fiver so it was really nice of him which was cool and um, saw a couple of action figures and um yeah these are pretty collectible ones they're really nice these ones yeah i really wanted these because i absolutely loved the video game on ps1 when i was younger i really did so these are small soldier figures so this one is called Chip Hazard, and he has a he has a thing on the back, 
There's like a switch, an on and off switch. Is it that? And you can you can bring that up. I can't remember if he had weapons or not, but um, he did have like a, a machine gun next to him. So I think that came with him. I asked him. I want to show, but these figures were just they were too nice to leave. I don't think they were like missing anything. Um, I don't think there was like missing any weapons or whatever. Could be wrong, but I, I did have a quick eBay look, um, and I actually did it in front of him. I said, "Look, I said I'm, these are like for my collection. I just want to look on eBay just to see if there was um, if he had any weapons or whatever." But as far as now, I don't think I'm missing anything anyway. But these will absolutely look sick on display. So that is Chip um, Hazard, that one. And then this one he is one of the Gorgonites, and he's called Archer. It's proper cool. Um, I believe he just came on his own, and I think he has a bow and arrow, but I'm sure they were separate or in another set or something. I'm sure he was just on his own when you bought him. Um, and you can... Yeah, it makes like a... Got a sound effect with it there. So, yeah, I thought these were so nice. He wanted a tenner each, and I was a bit like, oh. I said, we do 15. He said, I can do 18. So I bought them for 18. Because I do think they're decent, guys. I, I've seen them go for around anywhere between 20 and 30 each, I think, on eBay. That's what I've seen them in the sold listings for anyway. So proper nice. And, yeah, they're from, like, a, you know, a childhood favourite PS1 game of mine. I absolutely love the Small Soldiers game. So these would look sick on display. I think they're really nice looking figures, these are. So, yeah, these for the collection for display when I finally have my own badass games room. <laughs> these next couple, guys, were recent charity shop finds. So, these were 99p each. I got the Art of Mass Effect. So, I've not actually played these games properly, believe it or not. I do own them. I just need to play through them properly. So, yeah, there's some really cool concept art and artwork throughout the game. It was just too nice to leave behind for 99p, to be honest. A really nice, thick, hardback book. So... I picked that up. I don't know how much it originally would have been or anything. I don't know if it came with anything um, in a set or whatever. It's not got like an original price or anything on, but yeah, really nice. And then this one, this is a CD and an exception. And no, it's not Slim Shady this time. It actually isn't. This is an exception. I do like buying them occasionally for the car. I really do. Uh, so this is The Streets, their first album, original pirate material. And it still makes it even swinger. It's still got the uh, original sticker on as well. I love them parental advisory stickers. It's just really cool. So, yeah, this is really cool. And then the uh, original HMV sticker there. Um, yeah, I noticed something really cool about this. So, I like looking in these booklets. So, I was really carefully take them out. So, I've got a couple of pictures of him and whatever. And then, if you look at this, you have to look really closely at this. He's having a cup of tea, isn't he? A cheap cup of tea. Look at that. I don't know if you'd be able to spot it on camera, but that is actually Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3. And then there is actually a PS2 controller. How cool is that? I'm trying to switch this around so you can see. You might be able to tell ever so slightly that is the case for the legendary Tony Hawk's 3. So what a little Easter egg that is. I love observing things like that, guys. Proper cool. I never knew that was there at all. <laughs> yeah, I love the streets, I do. So CD for the collection and for the car. So guys, that is it for this pickups video. I really hope you've enjoyed everything you've seen. We've done really well over these boot sales, considering the weather even leading up to it, um, which obviously put loads of sellers off. So yeah, we still picked up some really nice bits and hopefully keep building on that CX credit. So shout out to Roller X Car. Really enjoy uh, his pickups videos. Uh, yeah, he does some pickups in the car after the car boots and he also trades to CEX. Also shout out to the almighty Beth Bear who has returned with live car boot videos. So definitely check her out. She pretty much does the same as me, pickups videos. And also the mighty car boot bible. Really enjoy your guys' videos. So definitely check them out. They do pickups and the video editing is awesome. I really enjoy it so feel free to drop any comments and chat away in the comments section down below guys and i will get back to you let me know what you like or what you've been picking up genuinely interested all the time and thank you so much for watching the pickups video as always i appreciate all of you guys really do so until then guys happy car booting and video game hunting i will see you in the next one guys see you in a bit